this video, I'll be highlighting five top tier places to get a cup of coffee in Portland, Oregon. So if you're thinking of moving up here or you're planning a trip up here or you already live here and you just wanna know where you should go to get a good cup of coffee here, then you can use this video as a starting point. Stick around, cause we're gonna get right into it. There are over 2,500 coffee shops in the city limits of Portland, so I have no idea how I'm gonna narrow it down, but I'm gonna. These are all gonna be locally owned, Portland-based businesses that I frequent myself, whether I need a quick cup of coffee or I wanna sit down for a few hours and get some work done. I'll be listing them in no particular order because honestly, if you're in the top five out of 2,500, everybody's a winner, right? Before we get into that, if you are watching this because you're thinking of moving to the Pacific Northwest and have Portland on your short list of places you're considering a move to, my team and I would absolutely welcome a call, text, or email from you to see if there's anything we can do to help you with that transition up here and ultimately get you into your dream home. People are honestly finding these videos and reaching out to us all the time, so don't be shy. Just go down into the description or into the comments and you can find all of our contact info. We look forward to hearing from you. All right, coming in at number five, in the Northeast Portland quadrant, we have Proud Mary. This is a great coffee spot. They have one location in Portland. This is a great spot that roasts all their own coffee beans. It's in one of the coolest areas in all of Portland. And you wanna know something else? It is one of the absolute best brunch spots in all of Portland. Bold statement, I know. So go there, try the food and get some coffee and take home some beans while you're at it. You can also find their beans in many local grocery stores around town. Proud Mary. At number four, Tove. This is easily the most unique place that you will be able to get coffee here in Portland. They are known for the most incredible espresso, Turkish coffee, and one of a kind drinks like their mint thing, rose latte and nectar of the gods. The thing that stood out to me the most is their iced drinks because they use the same kind of liquid for their ice as whatever drink that is. So if you're getting an iced latte with oat milk, they use frozen cubes of oat milk in the drink so that it doesn't dilute and it just tastes better and better as the drink goes on. It's great. Where have you ever seen anyone else do that? I haven't seen it anywhere. The thing that makes this place truly exceptional and unique is the fact that it is located in an old English double-decker bus. You walk into the main level and you can venture on up to the top and enjoy your cozy drink. It's a great spot. I highly recommend it. It's walking distance to all the shops on Southeast Hawthorne. The one thing that I'll say about this place is do not come here if you are in a hurry because sometimes there's a line around the block and it takes a while to make high quality drinks. Let's just face it. Also as a bonus it is located directly next door to a food cart that makes some of the best breakfast burritos in all of Portland. It's a great one-two punch. Moving on to number three, we have Upper Left Roasters. Out of all the spots on the list, this is the one that I probably go to the most because I just like to sit down there and work and because they have some of the most delicious tartine toasts around. I always get the Lox one with a slightly spicy poblano cream cheese, some cucumbers on top and the Lox with some fresh squeezed lemon. Mm, it's so good. The one drawback about this place is that if there's a lot of people in there, the Wi-Fi can be kind of spotty. Fix the Wi-Fi upper left, please fix it. They also have some really great locally made pastries. So if you have a sweet tooth, don't worry, they've got you covered. Also, if you pop in on the right day at the right time, you can enjoy the lovely smell of freshly roasted coffee beans because they have the coffee roaster right there in the middle of the cafe and you can watch them roast for hours and hours while you work. After you're done here, just walk over about half a block to the food cart pod called Cartopia. It's also a great place to get some food. There are some really good spots in there. I personally love pyro pizza as well as chicken and guns. So there's a little pro tip for you. Coming in at number two, we have Nosa Famila. This place is great. They have two locations in Southeast Portland and they have another one up in the Pearl, which is in the Northwest. The coffee is always super fresh and delicious and it's a great place to sit down and catch up on some work. Their beans are found in grocery stores all across Portland because they're just really great. This 
place is also very unique because they source all of their own beans from their own farms in South America. They take pride in providing a top tier product that uses sustainable practices from the first time that the bean starts growing all the way to when it ends up in your cup. They also have some pretty unique drinks on their menu such as the bee sting latte and a spicy mocha. I love this spot. All right, coming in at number one is Kova. I picked this place because it seems like they have the most consistently good coffee. Whether you want fresh beans or to pop in for a quick drink, it's always been amazing. They have, I don't even know, probably 15 different types of beans at any given time. There's a few locations around town, so you are bound to find one close to wherever you are. This place is so good that even Jerry Seinfeld himself stopped in when he was in Portland on his show, Comedians and Cars Drinking Coffee. If watching this video is part of your research before making a move up here to Portland, then the next one that you should watch is this one right here where I talk about five great things that you might really like about living in Portland. And hint, hint, one of the reasons is coffee. Thanks for watching.